Now, the real cost of Biden's open border crisis is now as obvious as ever tonight, as we are now learning more fentanyl than heroin was stopped at the border this past year. That's the first time ever on record. Our very own Sarah Carter has an exclusive report tonight on this fentanyl crisis. She was given exclusive access to the Texas DPS as they try to do the job that the Biden administration just refuses to do. Take a look. Sarah. Sean, thousands. Sean, tens of thousands of bereaved parents, as well as law enforcement officials across the country, are trying to warn the nation about a crisis, a drug crisis of non addicts, where fentanyl pills, counterfeit fentanyl pills, and fentanyl is killing our children and killing people regardless of age. I want you to take a look at the exclusive video that we were able to obtain, as well as a special interview with our Texas Crime Lab, the Texas Department of Public Safety in Houston. Listen to this. So I look at this lab and it is just incredible. I mean, this is a lab where you guys are testing all kinds of narcotics that you're finding yeah. on the streets. I mean, is that challenging? Yeah, I mean, it's a... And changing of things now. There's always new drugs emerging. There's new analogs coming out. And so it's a lot of, you know, utilizing these guys to the best of their ability to figure out what that new thing is, looking, doing kind of right. different research into it and trying to identify all of the stuff that we're seeing. And this is an actual um, kilo of fentanyl that was seized one of a few that were seized in a case. When I think about fentanyl, you need chemicals, you need precursor drugs, right? Yes. To help make the fentanyl, right? And it used to be that it was, the fentanyl was coming directly from China. So you got these precursor drugs, explain that. And then they use those to make the fentanyl, is that what it is? Yeah, so they just adjusted based on what was controlled overseas. And so now, instead of getting the fentanyl, like you were saying, they're getting the precursors and then they're synthesizing it or kind of assembling the drug themselves in Mexico and then sending it across. I mean, there's some that could still, you know, come through the mail directly in the U.S., but it seems that the primary route is through the southern border. People that think they can tell the difference between mm -hmm. a real Oxycontin and one that's been manufactured in some lab somewhere, it's maybe even in a trailer, somewhere in Mexico, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me how, how, it, how a layman can tell the difference, can they? It's, yeah, it's really hard because um, a lot of times in the lab for us, they fool us. And so we don't usually know that it's not a real tablet until we run it on our instruments and then it tells us, nope, that's something totally different. For a child that's, or a teenager that got a pill from someone at school, yeah. they would never be able to really tell the difference. No, yeah, it'd be really hard to know. So explain to me how much fentanyl in a pill can kill. So the... The rule of thumb that people say is about two milligrams. You really cannot even see the two milligrams of fentanyl in here. It's really that, that minute. Two milligrams of fentanyl is potentially lethal enough to kill an average human being. Right here, we have one kilogram of fentanyl. According to law enforcement officials, this is potentially lethal enough to kill 500,000 people. Sean, the Texas Department of Public Safety actually seized over 918 pounds of fentanyl as of December 30th for 2020. You can imagine how much that is on the streets. They're telling me that this is just a small portion of what they've been able to seize because they believe so much more has entered the country. Uh, one of the greatest fears they have is that the fentanyl is being transported across state lines. It's They're finding it in schools. We've seen children as young as 12 and people as old as 65, non-addicts who have actually like taken a pill from a friend or borrowed something from a neighbor, maybe taken a Percocet or an Oxycontin or picked up an Adderall, who have dropped dead by taking just one pill. Sean, parents want to warn everyone out there that this is truly a crisis and that it needs to be investigated by the Biden administration and something absolutely must be done. The number one killer of Americans aged 18 to 45, fentanyl. We don't talk about it enough. This is, well, part two of the series tomorrow night. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.